Welcome to the future. Hello, everyone. I'm Shi Yang with Xinhua News. Recently, China granted a road approval for two electric sedan models equipped with level three autonomous driving capabilities. This marks the first time that such vehicles has been officially allowed to operate on public roads. One of these models is right behind me. Look at this car. It was developed by Chang'an Automobile, an automaker based in Chongqing, a major municipality in southwest China. Just a few days ago, it received China's very first Level 3 autonomous driving license plate, labeled U1D0001Z, issued by the local traffic police. So we just look at this uh, driving license plate. So it's a UAD. 0001Z. The one means the first, and the Z uh, in Chinese we call Zi Dong, uh, which means um, autonomous in English. Chongqing is famous for its mountainous terrain and highly complex traffic network. Even seasoned drivers can find themselves lost in this maze of roads and tunnels. Today, we are giving our Level 3 autonomous driving system a real challenge, navigating Chongqing's rush hour traffic. Let's get out of the car. Before we begin driving, we invited an engineer to tell us some basic information about what is the Level 3 Automatic Driving and why they choose Chongqing. So, Chen Lao Shi, please tell us what is L3 automatic vehicle. L3 automatic vehicle is a special vehicle. In the system's design and design, the system can be fulfilled by the system to complete our vehicle's duty. So, the vehicle can be removed from the vehicle to the vehicle. But the vehicle can also be maintained by the vehicle's constant control. 当系统发出接管请求的时候，那驾驶员需要去做一个接管来去及时应对我们系统无法去处理的一些紧急情况。In China, autonomous driving is classified into six levels, ranging from the level zero to level five. The higher the level, the more advanced and intelligent the system. Level three, known as conditionally automated driving, allows the vehicle to handle dynamic driving tasks on its own. While still requiring a human driver to remain ready to take over when prompted, as you can see, the driver has completely taken his hands off the wheel. Now, why do we choose Chongqing as a testing site? Because Chongqing, as you can see, is a eight-dimensional vehicle. Its environment 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 is a eight-dimensional vehicle. 很复杂的一个道路环境。Chongqing was deliberately chosen as a pilot city because of its extremely demanding driving conditions. The city's roads provide a true stress test for autonomous systems, featuring dense traffic, frequent lane merging, frequent accidents, ongoing roads condition, and constantly changing conditions. These roads are popular daily routes for local commuters. So they make a perfect real-world test feed for training, testing, and improving Chang'an's Level 3 autonomous driving system. EJP Jihuo. So now we are all officially uh, switched to the uh, self uh, self driving uh, mode. The vehicle is capable of functions such as adaptive following, obstacle avoidance, and other complex maneuvers. It continuously senses its environment and reacts to the potential risks in real time.
This particular vehicle is capable of singling autonomous driving at speeds of up to 15 km per hour in congested traffic. It has been approved to operate on the designated highways and urban expressways in Chongqing. Honestly, I was a bit nervous at first, but after sitting in your car for a bit and seeing it smoothly handle each move, my worries start to melt away. In fact, safety remains a top priority in all pilot road operations. So far, Chang'an's Level 3 autonomous driving system has been tested intensively on Chongqing's famously complex accumulating over 5 million kilometers of real-world driving data. Throughout this entire process, it has maintained a perfect record, zero accidents and zero traffic violations.
In a city where driving itself feels like a challenge, autonomous technology may be offering us a glimpse of what future transportation could look like. Looking ahead, these pilot programs mark not an ending point, but the beginning of the autonomous driving's gradual integration into everyday life.